Welcome to our journey through the 11 books recommended by multi-millionaire Luke Belmar. We have the whole collection summarized in easy-to-understand videos with real-life examples and applications involved. Wait for the playlist at the end of the video. In today's episode we look the five levels of leadership by John Maxwell. In the realm of leadership, influence reigns supreme. The ability to inspire, motivate, and guide others towards a common goal is the hallmark of a true leader. This book is not merely a theoretical treatise but a practical guide, offering a roadmap for individuals at all levels of an organization to enhance their leadership abilities and maximize their impact. Leadership is influence, nothing more, nothing less. The five levels he outlines are not positions to be attained but stages of growth and development. Each level builds upon the previous one, representing a deeper and more profound form of influence. As individuals progress through these levels, their ability to lead and impact others expands exponentially. This video will delve into each of the five levels of leadership, exploring their key characteristics. By understanding and embracing these principles, individuals can unlock their leadership potential and make a lasting difference in their personal and professional lives. The journey of leadership is not a solitary pursuit. It is a collaborative endeavor that requires building relationships, fostering trust, and empowering others to reach their full potential. Through the lens of Maxwell's five levels, we can gain a deeper understanding of the dynamics of influence and discover how to become more effective leaders in all areas of our lives. The first level of leadership, position, is the entry point into the realm of influence. At this level, leadership is derived from one's formal title or position within an organization. People follow because they are obligated to, not because they choose to. This level is characterized by authority rather than influence. While position is a necessary starting point, it is the least effective and least influential level of leadership. Imagine a newly appointed manager, armed with their new title and authority, they begin issuing directives and expecting compliance. However, they soon realize that their team is not as responsive as they had hoped. This is because they are relying solely on their position to lead, rather than building relationships and earning the respect of their team. Level 2, leaders must recognize that position is merely a platform, not a guarantee of success. They must focus on building trust, establishing credibility, and demonstrating their competence. By shifting their mindset from I'm the boss, so you have to listen to me to I'm here to serve and support you, they can begin to earn the respect and commitment of their team. At this level, leaders begin to connect with their team on a personal level, building relationships based on trust, respect, and mutual understanding. People follow because they choose to, not because they have to. This level is characterized by influence rather than authority. They create an environment of open communication and actively seek out the opinions and ideas of their team. By building strong relationships, they create a foundation of trust and loyalty that empowers their team to perform at their best. The power of permission lies in the ability to connect with people on a human level. This level is about recognizing that true leadership is a two-way street. At level 3, production, leaders are defined by their ability to consistently deliver results. They are highly effective problem solvers, possess strong work ethics, and inspire their team to achieve ambitious goals. People follow because of what the leader has done for the organization. This level is characterized by competence and achievement. Think of a CEO who has a proven track record of success, having consistently exceeded expectations and led their company to new heights. Their ability to achieve tangible results earns them the respect and admiration of their employees, who are inspired to work harder and contribute to the organization's success. While production is essential for effective leadership, it is important to remember that results should not come at the expense of people. Leaders at this level must strike a balance between achieving goals and maintaining a positive and supportive work environment. By celebrating successes, recognizing contributions, and providing constructive feedback, they can create a culture of excellence that drives sustainable growth. Level 4, Developing Others, leaders that have the strongest teams not only motivate and drive results they focus on developing their team to perform without the need for oversight or micromanagement. Every successful team is full of leaders and people that know their role and can perform it to the best of their ability to get the same results whether or not you are there managing the situation. Level 5, Leaving a Legacy, this final level is closely related to how well you perform at level 4. If you manage to develop your colleagues and team to be able to perform, let and achieve without the direct oversight and light touch guidance then level 5 will be easy. Level 5 is all about empowering your team to complete their jobs by being the leader themselves. Before you go don't forget to like and subscribe to discover more insights and strategies for achieving your goals. Until next time stay financially savvy.